Now, last night, Quavo released his first official solo project titled Quavo Huncho. It's been an interesting process to see him being labeled as the superstar of the Migos, and now he's finally dropped something of his own to prove to the world what he's really about. But as you can see from the title, I'm not really gonna talk about the project as a whole, but specifically, I'm gonna talk about something he said on it that's been creating a lot of controversy for the past few hours. Now, what exactly am I talking about here? Well, I'm talking about the fact that Quavo is being accused of dissing Lil Peep. I don't think I really need to tell you why this is controversial and why so many people have been talking about it on social media but for the sake of the video obviously Lil Peep is dead he passed away about 11 months ago now due to a fentanyl overdose which is actually what this entire situation with Quavo is about Quavo has a song on his new project titled Big Bro now on the song right here Quavo has some lyrics where he describes a situation that's very much similar to the life Lil Peep was living because he did die of an overdose so let's actually take a look at the lyrics I'm talking about I'll read out all the lines where he's talking about Peep and then I'll give you my personal opinion opinion regarding what Quavo said. So he starts off the verse by saying, is you with me or against me? I'm a OG now so you need me. Think you popping Xanax bars but it's fentanyl. Think you're living life like a rock star but you're dead now. Let me put you under my wing. I can teach you one thing. Let me put you under my wing. I can show you it ain't all about a chain. Now as you can see, this is clearly about Lil Peep and let me tell you why. First of all, Quavo has a line where he says, think you popping Xanax bars but it's fentanyl. And why is this about Lil Peep? Well, for the simple fact that only hours before passing away, he posted this photo of himself on Instagram. Of course, Peep wouldn't have taken those pills if he knew that it was not only Xanax, but really it was laced with something else that later unfortunately took his life. So of course, like Quavo said, he thought that it was Xanax, but in reality it was something else, which is fentanyl. And then he also has another line where he said, think you're living life like a rock star, but you're dead now. If you know anything about Lil Peep, then you know that he did refer to himself as a rock star. I'm a rock star. I'm a rock star that emo slash rock star slash rapper label was kind of his entire image and I don't think that's a secret. Just with that information right there, there's no question whether or not Quavo was talking about Lil Peep in this verse right here. Now me personally, what do I have to say about this situation and do I even think this is a diss towards Lil Peep? So contrary to popular belief and I know this might be an unpopular opinion and I'm completely okay with it but I don't really see this as a diss at all and why am I even saying that? Well first of all, let's look at the title track of the song right here. So the song is called Big Bro. Without even hearing this track, I already knew what the concept of it was gonna be. Quavo was gonna serve as the big brother. Whoever the lyrical content was directed at was gonna receive some kind of harsh truth. I want you to look at the hook on this big bro track right here. Now, yes, it's not very deep, so to speak. I mean, it is very repetitive, but also it's extremely straightforward, which is the point I'm trying to get across here. It seems like to me, Quavo wanted to use this track right here as an opportunity to hold the young niggas by the hand and tell them, hey, I'm the OG in the game. I've been here for a couple years. I know the life of popping pills might be very very appealing but the only thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna end up dead. Keep in mind that Quavo did say let me put you under my wing after the quote unquote diss towards Lil Peep. And the fact that he said this is telling me one thing and one thing only, it came from a good place. The song is called Big Bro and he's speaking as that big bro. He's giving advice to the younger artists in a game who might want to do things that are not gonna benefit them but are extremely tempting like doing a lot of drugs. But then again, yes, I do think that the way Quavo talked about this was extremely superficial. It was very, very, very surface level. Because because keep in mind, this conversation of losing artists in hip hop to drugs is a real thing. I mean, very recently, we lost Mac Miller to drugs. So one thought that might pop up in your head when you're judging the situation is, Quavo, if you're not gonna talk about the drug addiction issues in depth and in detail, then don't even give your opinion on it because you're not even that kind of artist, you're a trap rapper. But I digress. Now, keep in mind, in my opinion, intentions really matter in a situation like this. Quavo doesn't have a reason to diss Lil Peep because Peep was an extremely unproblematic person. The only thing he did was make his music and stay out the way. He wasn't controversial by any means as far as I know. And I want you to pay attention to the atmosphere of the track. Now, if you have not listened to the track, then please listen to the track because this is not going to make any sense otherwise. Quavo's voice is extremely calm and mellow, which is not something we see a lot of. And only that is telling me that it's coming from a place of him wanting to educate rather than pointing fingers. In my personal opinion, I do think that Quavo had good intentions with the song and I wouldn't consider this a diss. But I'm not going to lie to you, the wording is extremely weird. More than any Thing I hear a person who is not completely self-aware in this instance because if he was then he would have worded the verse a little bit differently to not make it sound like he was taking shots. Now that's of course my personal opinion regarding Quavo supposedly dissing Lil Peep but what do you personally have to say about this? Keep in mind this is a very sensitive topic there's a lot of emotions involved here. A lot of people loved Lil Peep so if you don't agree with me I'm completely fine with that. The most important thing here is let's come together let's have a discussion about this whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me. So yeah definitely let me know in the comments section below and let's have a discussion about this.